what's up guys Mopar for life here welcome you to the channel on this Monday morning May 18th 2020 uh, today I'm doing another video on another respirator I received um, I don't know if you guys have already seen my past videos where I actually created a respirator out of a snorkel mask um, I purchased a mask from Mira safety that was the CM 6m mask and I have also went ahead and um, purchased another mask from a company called GVS. It was the half mask respirator variety. And today I received another mask. And this one is a full face mask respirator. Um, it is like the GVS half mask respirator, but this one includes a fixated uh, goggle attachment uh, I'll show this to you right now. Comes in this nice uh, big box, this big plastic box from the United Kingdom. Like I said in my past video, these uh, the GVS company is located in the UK. As you can see here, comes in this box. I'll take it out of the box, show you how it looks. Uh, that way we can get down to business and see if maybe this is something for you because I know a lot of them half mass respirators are pretty much gone um, You can't find them or you I, I the last time I looked on the website where I, I, I purchased this from woodcraft.com There is also another website called woodworking.com um, that also puts these masks out so this one here I paid $55, that's $27 more than the half mask respirator. Um, so basically you're paying for the goggle attachment, which is 27 bucks more. Um, I do have these, you know, Uvex goggles here. These are, I think, $19 on Amazon. So add these in with the half mask respirator. That is also from GVS, uh, the one I did in my last video. That turns out to be almost 50 bucks. So um, you're going to pay about five more dollars for this version here, uh, the GVS Integra. Um, but like I said, you cannot find these, the half mask respirators anymore. Um, I looked on the website. On those websites woodworking.com woodcraft.com I looked on those websites and they are back ordered pretty much until um, I seen about the month of October um, so that is pretty far away by that time you know we will have already found something else or created something ourselves which is you know what a lot of people are doing right now so with that being said I'm gonna pull this out show you what it looks like, uh, how it compares to the half mask uh, respirator, also from GVS. Let's do this. So let me dig into the plastic box here. And also, as we look on the back of the plastic box, you know, it just gives a little few characteristics about the mask, you know, comfortable, light, ultra compact. And also, just like the half mask respirator, of course, you know, it is NIOSH approved, and they got their uh, NIOSH approval by the United States government back in 2011. And as you can see here, GVS Ellipse is made in England. So, uh, yeah, in England. I don't know if that's like similar to like the UK. I think the UK is like a, um, you know, three or four different smaller countries put together that's why it's united kingdom but uh nonetheless that's none of my business i'm here to talk about this mask anyways let's pull it out here we go and this one here this full face mask respirator is of the small medium variety so i like i said i'm 510 this fits my face perfectly um, they also have a medium large. Uh, I haven't gotten one of those yet, so I don't know how well they work. So, but I know this one works for me being 5'10. 
and fit in my face and everything like that. And you can see, you can spot the size down at the bottom of the mask. It says small, medium right there. Okay. And then uh, obviously um, this one here, just like the half mask respirator, comes standard with what, whatever type of filters you order it with. These, one are the, these ones are the P100s filters, P100 filters, and these, you know, will filter out 99.7% of airborne particles, and on the website that lists, like, mist, dust, fumes, some microorganisms, such as bacteria and viruses, but, um, you're getting a pretty good, you know, mask here. I actually have another one of these that I use for woodworking. And uh, it works out really, really great. Saves the lungs every single time. I used to not wear a mask when just working with, you know, wood. You know, this just, just as a hobby. And all those dust particles just, leaped, just left me just like gasping for air at the end of the night. It just kind of hurt. So I know these work very well um, in terms of uh, filtering out, you know, some of the small, you know, wood dust that comes off, you know, say something like a, um, like a miter saw when you're cutting wood and stuff like that, all of it's flying up and, you know, so I get really good protection is what I'm trying to say. So anyways, this mask here, you're getting the goggle attachment with it. It's fixated to the respirator, as you can see. And it looks like it's on there pretty tight. I don't see any type of gaps opening up as I bend it back and forth. Um, I'm playing around the where the nose uh, attached. Well, I'm playing around where the, the nose part is. And I don't see any type of you know opening up. Or anything like that okay so you can you can open it up but I see a small little hole there but um, so it's not glued on or anything like that it looks like the goggles are fixated by little clips that are kind of uh, embedded in the they call it thermoplastic this area here, this bluish area right here is made out of thermoplastic. And when I was reading about the thermoplastic, it's not exactly rubber or anything like that. Um, it's a very high grade type of plastic. I'm not gonna go too much detail in on that, uh, but if you wanna look that up, you know, feel free to, uh, just so you can capture, you know, what it really means. So the goggles on there are fixed pretty tight, and these are ANSI 77 approved. Uh, meeting standards to, you know, high impact. Uh, you know high impact resistance and stuff like that so you can smack these around I got a piece of just a, a, a little socket right here and just and you can see they can take a beating and I don't see any type of like scarring or indents or anything like that in the mask so we know or you know as I'm showing you this this can provide you some type of impact resistance, you know, when wearing it also. So, and then um, um, as I turn it around here, you know, obviously you have your exhaust port in the middle and, you know, that's just there to reduce moisture con right here in the middle exhaust port. Um, that's also there just to reduce moisture and uh, help for breathability. And then you got your intake valves here, um, which open and close, you know what I mean? As you breathe in and breathe out through the filters, your P100s in the front. And like I said, I like the cage around the filters because it protects uh, 
not only the filters, but it protects yourself, you know, as well from as from touching them, you know, when you shouldn't be, because these are pretty much, you know, you should treat them as they're pretty much infected at all times, and they're dirty. You just don't want to be touching that stuff when you shouldn't be. But um, a protective cage around the filter to the exhaust fell to the other filter here is very good added protection. And when you want, and the filters are interchangeable, these P100s are interchangeable or whatever filters you got in them. And you can switch them, you know, switch them out rather easily. You got a little, you know, knob here that can be turned from the inside by adjusting. I'm gonna open this up real quick. You see where, you see my two fingers that are wiggling right here? right here right here they're touching two turn knob valves and all you have to do to switch the filters out is turn one of those knobs on the inside counterclockwise or turn it clockwise I'm sorry you see as I'm turning it it's kind of like getting in sync with the hole on the plastic clip here and once it's in sync you can just go ahead and pull that cage off and stuff like that there you go so the cage is off and then you can just pop the filter out really simple just like that just pop it out really simple so that's how easy it is to take out the filter and then obviously you would reach into the bag grab another filter and these filters whether it's on woodcraft or um, woodworking.com, I think they're about $14.99 a piece for a set of two. And um, when you get them and you're switching out your filters, you can see that they come labeled on the back of the filter top. And I don't see any right or left, but um, you can figure that out. We're smart people, right? But um, Place the top end here where it says top on the inside of the mask, as you can see right there. And just, you see the indentations on the side of the filter right there along the filter line. And you just kind of like stuff them into the crease here around your, you know, where your filters go. So just stuff it back in. It's not too hard like I'm just doing it with one hand just to show you but um, once you get it in there there you go and it seats itself you're pretty much good to go so then you close the cage back up right close the cage back up and you fit that little plastic you know that knob that you synced up to take it out in the first place, you sink, you sink it right back in, and then you give it a turn counterclockwise, as you can see, and it locks itself back into place, and the filter is back on, just like that. And you do both sides. Uh, you, so you can probably do it in about five minutes if you had to and stuff like that, but um, very easy to switch out the filters. Um, and uh, one more thing. Also, I like the way everything is right here. Just like I said with the half mask respirator, you can come by with some um, some spray, you know, disinfect it and stuff like that. Spray it on a rag or, you know, dab a little bit around the thermoplastic here. And I like to clean mine up and everything like that and keep it clean because once you keep it clean, you know, when you come back, it's like going out to the field, right? You come back in, you clean all your equipment and you get it ready for the next time out. So, and you don't have to like get the filter wet or anything like that. You just clean around it and stuff like that. But that's what you should be doing anyways because um, you don't want to keep this thing dirty. This is your life right here. This is your life on the line right here and you want to keep it clean and active at all times, ready to go. So with that being said, um, I'll go ahead and I'll put this on, show you what it looks like uh, on my face. Um, take my hat off and then um, quickly throw it on.
And like I said, I like to just cup it like this with my four fingers on the upper and lower straps and catch that bottom right there end on my chin. Pull up right over the head, that easy. And then also you kind of want to make sure, I didn't do this because it's, I'm just showing you what this mask is all about, but um, make sure when you get your straps, make sure they're nice and even. This is kind of offset here with this side being longer than this side. So with that being said, I'm just gonna go ahead and pull them. I'll pull this side a little bit more, try to adjust it, get them tight. You just want a snug fit. Don't over tighten it because you'll kind of like cut off the blood flow to your face and everything like that. You don't want that, it kind of hurts. So, but um, as I put it on, it doesn't feel, you know, as in comparison to the half mask, you know what I mean? As in comparison to the half mask, it doesn't feel that much heavier at all. The comfortability compared to the half mask, the GVS half mask respirator, the comfortability is still there. I don't have to adjust it or anything like that. It fits the contours of my face perfectly. The, you can see the exhaust valve here opening and closing as I'm talking, so you can hear the snap, you can, so you know it's working. Your first time out, you can kind of like, you can check the, you know, tightness um, to see if, you know, you're getting airs out the sides or anything like that. It's pretty much airtight. I can't really get a lock tight because these filters are kind of large, so my hands aren't really covering the whole filter, but um, I know it's working. Um, and uh, so it fits very comfortable, light, compact, just like the you know back of the plastic box says. And uh, I don't see any type of noticeable fog or mist you know, clouding up my goggles, at least, you know, for right now, but maybe over time, you know, as the longer you wear this, maybe it starts to fog up. I'm not sure. I haven't gotten to that point yet. And um, I don't feel type any type of sweatiness inside the, you know, respirator as I'm talking, at least not right now, within the first five minutes. And, uh, so I think it I think it fits pretty pretty good and uh, in comparison to the other goggles I purchased off of Amazon these are Uvex goggles these are really really good goggles too they're also ANZ 77 impact resistant these are what I wear with the half mask respirator but um, in terms of, of comparison I gotta say this is a little bit more comfortable. Than wearing these with the half mask respirator from GVS just because it's fixated I don't get a lot of movement I know with these when I'm wearing them with the half mask respirator I'm kind of having to adjust them just a little bit here and there and sometimes it can be a little bit annoying and um, so these are perfectly designed I think uh, for this this type of mask Another thing is, is I have the full face shield. That is the bionic, uh, what is it? The, the Uvex bionic face shield. You know, like, like the glasses also from Uvex. I'll grab that off to the side. Here it is right here. And uh, like I said, you got your headband right here. You can go ahead and loosen it up. You know what I mean? Then toss it over your hat and then tighten it back up get it really seated on your head. And this comes down even, you know, and, and these goggles, they come out pretty, pretty wide to the front. So this has no problem coming over the goggles, you know, especially if it comes over the bill of your hat, my hat, it's gonna come over the goggles. So I got my knobs on the side. These are for tilt, tighten up the tilt, loosen up the tilt, you know what I mean? So I can pretty much tighten them up bring the tilt down 
There we go. Bring them back up. Bring the tilt back down. And like I said, if you're in the grocery market and you're going up to the aisle or wherever you're at, what store you're not, what, 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 what store, what if, what not, um, you're coming up to the cash register, you're getting ready to pay. What I do is I just drop the full face shield. And you know what? You might look kind of funny, you might look kind of stupid, but you know what? You know what I get at night when I go to bed? Like I said, I get peace of mind. I know that I protected myself. I know that I protected others. Nobody has to get sick. Nobody has to die. So that's a good thing. Um, so full face shield works everything like that. And like I said, I'll leave the, if, if you, whether, whatever mask you go with, the GVS half mask, full face mask, I'll leave a link in the description where you can get these Uvex goggles. So if they're still out there, uh, that way you can have the full setup. And I'll leave a link in the description for the bionic face shield. So you can add that to that. And um, also, I have another thing here too. Because we don't just go out in the daytime, right? We also go out at night. So if you really want to get tactical with it, you can get yourself a Miyoko headlamp right here. I got this Miyoko headlamp on Amazon for $19, I believe. Uh, really cool, um, bright headlamp with, I think, about eight settings on it. Uh, really brights up, it really lights up the, the sky, really lights up the yard, really lights up wherever you're going. A thousand lumens, very mighty, powerful lighting to strike anything in front of you if needed. Um... As you can see here, it has a full set of LEDs, emergency lights, red lights, and they also have different settings where they pop on and off, twinkle off and on, from red to light to white, you know. Um, I'll give you one of the settings right now. And they go from different lumens all the way to the highest, a thousand. There, it's very bright. Lights up the screen, three, four. Very crazy. Very strong. Um, I hope I didn't hurt your eyes right there. And then also they got another button on the left. One, two, three, four. And then you can integrate them right with the other side, with the other button, which just lights up everything. And I'll give you a one, two, three, four. There we go. And there we go. There we go. So I turned it all off. I won't be hurting your eyes anymore. But uh, this light, this light, this Miyoko headlamp, 19 bucks on Amazon. And the cool thing about it is you can recharge it with your USB cable right here plugged into whatever outlet you got. I got my USB cable here. And it takes... To fully charge it, it takes about a good 20 minutes from what I noticed to fully charge it. You can use it while it's plugged in also, so that's the cool thing. And I got this connected to my, <laughs> if you want to even go crazier, I got this connected to my, my Jackery portable generator here. And, uh that you can connect also to solar power. So a lot of cool ideas out there to keep you going off the grid. But uh, I'll disconnect this light. I don't want to go too much into that. I'll disconnect this light. I'll throw it back on my head and we'll see. We'll see if we can get this uh, face shield on there also so tighten up the shield I got my Miyoko headlamp ready bam there we go I can reach through bam tap the other side 
trying to reach for it. Excuse me. So there we go. So we know, we know the Miyoko headlamp. This is a full, this is my setup right here. Everything <laughs> that I'm working with. If I really have to get with, go out there, get tactical, I know I'm protected at night. I got a lot of light here. If need be, my full face shield, my GVS Integra with P100 filters, goggle attachment fixated to the respirator, and uh, what else? I mean, what else can we add? I mean, geez, you're asking how, well, what if you need to answer the phone or something like that? You know, I got these here. These are made by Ambi's technology. You got these on Amazon too. You just toss them on there, and there you go. You got your set up Bluetooth right to your phone. So that's how I run it sometimes. That's my run. I mean, the only thing you're missing is a drink attachment. <laughs> but uh, nonetheless, awesome, some pretty good products here, stuff like that. Um, I could even talk about another thing I have here and that is a, an emergency radio that I got also on Amazon. Um, it's cool because this here is solar powered. It has a couple of lights on it. This is made by Foss Power. I think I paid like 39 bucks for it. Has one light here, solar panel here that lights up as you open it up. AM FM radio, turn it around to the bottom. Has a emergency signal SOS. You know what I mean? And um, also the light here, you can kind of like thin it out and widen it out, which is pretty cool. So um, another little cool radio or another little cool emergency device that is, you know, nice to have, but um, comes with a little lanyard with a little clip to clip wherever you need but anyways i got a little off subject there a lot of little cool stuff that you can have to go along with your gvs respirator if needed because it's better to be fully prepared you know and and not need it than to be not prepared and just always wondering so go out there if you're gonna do it be tactical about it because you never know especially if things get rough and tough. You're going to want to be, you know, in charge of your future. So, mask I explained about. I'll leave in the link in the description for where you can get this. $55, I believe, $56, $57 out the door with tax and everything like that. Um... Everything in the setup here, also a link in the description to include the radio. If you're thinking about it, getting a portable generator too, link in the description. But uh, I think this mask is good to go. If you can still find one, get out there, protect yourself, and uh, stay safe. At the most, stay safe. So this is Mopar for life saying, hey, if I missed anything, go ahead, hit me up in the comment section. Let me know. I'll answer you right away. If it's just a question about the mask, where I got it from, maybe you want to know something that I, you know, like I said, I missed. Um, is it on there? Is it not? How does, how does this, how does that? Go ahead, ask me, hit me up. I'll let you know, I'll put it on again and uh, I'll check it out for you, so. Like I said, uh, 
And, you know, if you're watching this video, go ahead, subscribe. If you like it, don't forget to hit the like button, especially if I hit all the markers in your minus in terms of, you know, helping you get across that hump and say, hey, I like that. I want that. You know, if I've done that and completed that in this video, give me a thumbs up. And if you don't like it, whatever, it doesn't matter. I'm still here. I'm still trying. I'm putting out the video. You know what I mean? Um, so I'm doing my part and I'm executing to accomplish not only a mission for myself, but a mission for people who are wondering, who are in the know. So, like I said, be safe out there. This is Mopar for Life saying thank you for watching the GVS half mask respirator video unboxing slash review. Um, till the next video, I'll see you guys. Peace out. Phyllis. Uh-huh. For $250. Uh-huh. What? Ow. $250 for this.